The month of August has been pretty quiet so far. We see only two six-pointers, that was on the 14th, which coincided with Earth's alignment with the Sun and Saturn on the very same day. Other than that, we have had no magnitude 6 or larger earthquakes in August. And this emphasizes the seismic law that we're in pretty much since early June. All this time we had only one seven-pointer, which happened early on in a critical time frame in July. You can look up the previous video covering the critical planetary geometry in that time frame. I definitely expected more in the end of July, but that didn't happen. And so far again in August, uh, not much has happened. Looking at the coming week, we are going to have some critical planetary geometry that actually started today, early today and tomorrow morning. We have two planetary alignments. You see the purple peak here on the left. This is planetary geometry involving Venus and it's followed by planetary geometry involving Mercury. And then we have lunar peak on the 22nd and this means that we may have a seismic increase strong to major seismic activity potentially coming up on the 22nd 23rd 24th if you look at the solar system real quick we see venus in alignment with jupiter and neptune that's the purple peak that we saw on the sgi graph and this happened this morning and then tomorrow morning we'll have mercury earth and neptune in alignment these two alignments may cause strong to major seismic activity again most likely from the 22nd to the 24th back to the sgi graph we see purple peaks on the 26th 27th and 28th all of which involve venus you can see that here below in the legend planetary geometry involving venus these are the purple peaks and it will be followed by a huge lunar peak on the 29th 30th and it's very well possible that this will be followed by major seismic activity around the lunar peak or following the lunar peak. So that will be on the 30th, 31st, maybe September 1st if it arrives late. Think of the planetary peaks, the purple and red peaks, as charges and the lunar peaks as collectors. To give you an idea how it works. In Sol page, we see these planetary alignments. Again, this morning, Venus, Jupiter, Neptune at 1 o'clock in the morning UTC time. And then tomorrow morning, Mercury, Earth, Neptune. And then on the 26th and 28th, uh, near convergence of three planetary alignments. And we see that Venus is playing a major role here. On the 26th, Venus, Mars, Neptune. And then on the 28th, a convergence, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Venus, Earth, Saturn. There is a higher probability of strong to major seismic activity in the last couple of days of August, coinciding with or following this planetary geometry. On the SGI sum graph, we see a similar picture. Critical geometry here involving Venus on the 26th. We see the lunar peak here on the 26th, early 26th, and also the lunar peak here on the 29th. The whole image here in the last couple of days of August indicates critical planetary geometry and the potential of larger seismic activity. There's definitely a higher probability there. But we may have some increased seismic activity already following the two alignments this morning and tomorrow morning, followed by the lunar peak on the 22nd, again, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. It's difficult to say if it's going to be strong or major seismic activity. We may be in for a surprise. We do not know. We have been in a pretty low period, especially this month with only two six-pointers. So it's difficult to make any estimate here. But I marked the 22nd, 23rd and 24th as more critical due to the geometry here, planetary geometry and the lunar peak. Also check out the website for the latest updates, the forecast, magnitude probability and the latest SSGI graph. You can also follow us on Telegram and Twitter. Additional updates will be posted there. Until next time.